see if it runs. First kit. Today I'm back on this 2004 Honda CRF80. I cleaned everything up, ordered up a big board kit and some other parts. So hopefully we can get it all back together today. I have the left side of the crankcase on some blocks here and the first thing I'm going to do is put my cam chain in here. I'm just going to make sure when I put my crank down in here that there's enough room. Now my crank I'm going to put some assembly lube on this bearing since it's harder to get to. Now I can just set it down in. I'm just going to take my rubber mallet and gently tap it. There we go, it's all the way seated. feels good make sure your cam chain is ready to go I have my transmission here I put some assembly loop here there's a washer here and just to try to hold this gear on um, here's a good look at it I'm gonna try to slide it in Now I'm going to install the shift forks, this first one, 5C it starts with, it's going to go over here, the one that starts with 5L5 is going to go on the bottom. Now they have these two ports in, I'm going to try to get my shift cam in, it's going to go with this brass part down, and you'll probably have to lift them up to get them right where you want them. One. Okay. Now I can put my last one in, which is the 5R4. I'm trying to get them all lined up. And then I can put my shift pin in. I'm going to lube this up with a little bit of engine oil and try to feed it down through there just like that and it spins now the transmission should spin freely and it does once all this is installed I'm just gonna shift this by hand and make sure it works and I think that was all the way through yep there we go now I can install this kickstarter. I'm going to make sure this is engaged right here, which it is. This is the stopper. Everything looks good, so I'm going to put some assembly lube on. The bearings, the transmission, anything that looks like it needs it. Alright, that might have been a little excessive. I'm going to put the locating pins or dowel pins in. I cut my gasket in half right here where the cylinder is. I'm going to put it on the locating dowels now. Should be good. I'm going to double check everything's working. Crankshaft feels good. Everything's spinning freely. It's ready for the other crank half. You 
easy as that. Just slid together. I'm going to check my crank again. Still feels good. Transmission still feels good as well. Next up, I'm going to put these two case bolts in. The dirty one goes outside and clean one right there. This will also make sure your gaskets are lined up. Now I can trim up these gaskets. You just want to make sure you don't dump that down in your case. I want to check the transmission, so I'm going to install this shift drum cam first to put all these locating pins in. And they're all the same size. Now I can put this stopper lever on, it can be kind of a pain. You want to make sure that's seated really good in there. Okay, now I can test the gearing one more time. This should be first gear, you can see I'm spinning it, neutral. There we go, that's all the gears. Now I can go back through them. Okay, gears are tested. Now I'm going to install the seals that go here, here, and here. They're already lightly greased up. I'm just going to gently get them on here. Try to get it started by hand. Make sure everything is good with the crank. Yep. For this one I put a little black tape around it so hopefully I can slide it over the chain groove without catching it. it takes a little bit. There we go. There we go, the seals are in. Now I can go ahead and put my shift shaft in. I have it oiled up. I want to make sure I get it through that seal real nice. I'm going to work on this oil pump next. First I'm going to put these two O-rings in. Then I'm going to get the back of this housing and line it up. Make sure your main shaft is still in here and we'll slide the gear on that's going to connect it to our crankshaft and then we can just finish putting the cover on now I'll go ahead and put the oil screen in 
I had to take the shift shaft out real quick because I want to get this kicker spring installed. You have to put this notch here in a hole down at the bottom first. And then put this spacer on it. And then move it around just like that. Now I'm going to set up this primary gear drive. First we have this metal spacer, then the gear. You're going to line it up with your oil pump, then a washer, and the nut. And I'll wait till I put the clutch on to tighten it up. The only thing else is this little piece here, but it'll fall out if I try to put it in right now. Moving on to the clutch, we can install the back housing first. Make sure it meshes up. And then we have a splined washer. Okay, now I have my clutch pack all together. Slide this on there. Last thing to go here is this bearing. If it's just like that. Switching over to the flywheel side, I'm gonna go ahead and put this coil on. Pretty simple, just get that in there, and there's two screw holes here. Now we can go ahead and put the flywheel on. My Woodruff key's already in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up to 64 Newton meters. Now that the flywheel's on, we can go ahead and tighten this primary gear drive nut to 39 Newton meters. Now I'm gonna put this back in here so I don't lose it. I forgot this one piece on the shift shaft here. Let's try to get it. Okay, I'm gonna grease this seal up. I also replaced it, it just pushed right in. Here's the big board kit I got. It's a BBR95CC. It came with a new piston. I've already put the rings on it. I checked the ring gap, they were good. Um, the silver goes on top, black in the middle. Came with a new wrist pin, wrist pin clips, gaskets, and a new cylinder that's not all rusted up. So let's throw them on here. Step one is gonna be to put this clip in. I went a little too far. I'm going to use the wrist pin to kind of bump it out, I think. 
I have this one wrist pin clip in. Now I can go ahead and put it on the crank. Okay, intake's gonna point towards the back. My wrist pin's lubed up here. Okay, now I just need to put this side in. happy with that I got this wrist pin clip in as well and I kept this tab and the opening up here just like on the other side gonna go ahead and put these cylinder dowel pins in and a new base gasket Okay, I have my cylinder all set up here. I have my tensioner in. It's pushed all the way down and locked in. My cylinder's oiled up. I have my little uh, piston holder here. I have a piston ring compressor and we'll see if we can't slide this on. Okay, I got it on here. That was a little diff more difficult than I thought, but rotate it over. Everything seems good. I think we can continue on. I'm also going to install this cam chain guide. Goes down just like that. I think it's time to finally rebuild this head. I cleaned it up, bought new valves and lapped them in, and I also honed the valve guides. Checked everything out and it looks good. So let's go ahead and rebuild these. Here we go, first one done. Both are in now. Okay, now I'm going to install some dowel pins and the head gasket.
think that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and set my camshaft in here with the lobes pointed down. And put two more dowel pins in. These get torqued down to 20 newton meters and across crisscross. There we go. I have my timing mark lined up here. It's at top dead center. I checked my piston and it's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my cam chain, this magnet. and try to get my cam gear on here this is supposed to be the dot is facing directly up it's pretty close there let me check that all right it's at top dead center i'm using this as kind of a 90 and hopefully you can see that timing mark is straight up and down according to the face of the head here so we're good to go I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some of these uh, bolts in here the silver bolt here goes on the exhaust side and the black one goes on the intake side on the compression stroke. These both get torqued down to 12 newton meters. Now I'm going to install this cam chain tensioner. Have my mark facing up here. Okay, now I'm going to loosen this cam chain and adjust it. So I'm going to loosen the lock nut, let off on the screw. Snug it back down. Hold the screw in place while I lock this down. There we go. Everything's looking good. I'm just gonna kick it over a few times. Walls at top dead center. I went ahead and set the valve clearance and this is 0 0.002 inches or 0 0.05 millimeters on both the intake and the exhaust. So I'll just show you, it's really not much. And you just wanna hear it drag. Just like that. Valve should be good to go. Let me go ahead and put a little assembly lube on the cam. 
I'm in the valley there. Put a little on the cam chain. Go ahead and set this on there. Finally time to put this motor back in. this clutch up there we go. now I can put the kicker on Seems okay. I'm also going to go ahead and put this crankcase breather back on. Now the shifter.
I have my wire harness hooked in here and here and I put this rubber piece back to hold it all together. Start with my CDI here. Get these two hooked in. Okay, hook that up now, it's color coded. Go ahead and put my ground on here. And I'll go ahead and hook up the kill switch. I'm going to go ahead and check for spark. It has spark. I'm going to add the oil now so I don't forget about it and this thing takes about 1100 milliliters after a rebuild. So this is 946 to start. 10W40 motorcycle oil. Now I'll add just a little bit of another one. That should be good. This air filter has seen much better days. Yeah. Pretty nasty. Let me go blow this out. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this new filter on. Give it a spray with some of this air filter oil and throw it in. Last thing to do here is go through this carburetor. So I'm going to take the drain off. Breather. Get this o ring off of here. Yeah, that doesn't look too great. This gasket is gone. There's another o ring here. It's pretty nasty. That's ready for the ultrasonic cleaner. Try to get this float off.
This needle looks okay. I'll have to take a closer look after it's cleaned up. Floats don't have anything in them, they're just really dirty. And I'll go ahead and take the jets out. I'm going to try to get this jet all the way out. There it goes. It's all just kind of dirty and nasty. It needs a good cleaning. This came out really nice. Go ahead and take this idle out. Maybe I'll check and see where it's at. Two and a half out. Last thing is this air fuel screw here. Should have checked that. I'll just go with factory though. Maybe a little more since it's a big board kit. Oh yeah, she is crusty. Should be a spring in here. See it in there. There it is. And an O-ring, if I'm not mistaken. I don't see one. I don't see an O-ring down there, but I'll check the book and see what it says. Now I'm just going to put everything in the ultrasonic cleaner and see what it does. Alright, see you guys in 30 minutes. Everything looks really good. I did go ahead and buy a rebuild kit. I wanted to make sure that I had everything I needed. So I'll get everything dumped out. This. Get my rebuild kit out and can start putting it back together. First is this float bowl drain screw. Gets a new o-ring. Now I'm going to install the throttle stop screw and spring. There was no O-ring or anything. And this was two and a half turns out from bottom. Now I'm going to install the air screw and spring. I'm going to set this at two and a half turns out as well. I think factory is two and an eighth, but the big bore kit could easily go two and a half. Or more probably. Now I'm going to install the main jet. This is a 95, which was what was recommended, so I'm just going to leave it for now. Might need a bigger jet though. Now the pilot jet. Now I'm going to put the needle on the floats. Get set up here. Now I can install this new gasket. I have a new o-ring for the intake here and one for the top of the throttle and we should be good. I'm going to throw the drain back on. And the breather.
get everything to the fuel line. I got some fuel hooked up to it. I just want to see if it'll run. Uh, I guess I'll go no choke for now. Oh yeah, she'll run. Real little choke. Needs a little idle adjustment, but it sounds good. I'm gonna check this bolt, make sure there's oil flowing up through the head. Oh yeah, yep, we got oil flow to the head. Alright, it's the next day here. Um, yesterday I got it all running good, so I'm going to finish slapping it back together and take the first test drive. So first I'll throw this gas tank back on here. today this crf80 is running great now um, i took it out ran through all the gears finished tuning the carb and everything checks out the bike's not 100 percent but it is with all the parts that i have right now so as always thanks for watching and i'll see you next time